Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we did a little errand running, helped some people out, ran Strauss out of camp, and taught a woman how to hunt. This time, we're going to do a bit of hunting ourselves. That's... Not quite where I wanted to put that, but okay. I don't think anything's going to go for it there. Damn. What if I can go pick the bait back up? No. Let's try this in a different spot, maybe. I am not a patient man. At all. I don't know, I guess I just expect things to happen a little quicker. I think I need to use some scent cover. I've never done much hunting in this game. I do believe I see something. I can't tell if it's a shadow or it's just a rock. Shadow on a rock looked like something. Fuck it. If I come across something, I'll try to hit it with one of my improved arrows, but I ain't gonna hold my breath. Where am I heading now? Oh, Mrs. Downs still has something for me. Yep. Like I said, if I manage to track anything down, I'm not riding like a ram or a deer, I'll go ahead and take aim at it, charge it, kill it, skin it, all that good shit. But I am not going to hold my breath. Easy. Oh, looks like we have a hunter's camp right here. <laughs> this here 
city folk. They're gonna have trinkets and all. I want food, not trinkets. Can't eat trinkets. Well, food don't go make you pretty. <laughs> you ain't ever gonna be pretty. That ain't how you was acting last night. <laughs> you shut up about that. Some Murphys. Now they're dead. No, no, no. Take the salted meat. Much inbred degenerates. They killed some folk and most likely pilfered their goods. Well, it's not like they're taking it with them. Now it doesn't let me. Now it's not even let me craft by the fire. It was earlier. Whatever. It doesn't matter. What's the damn hold up? Nothing. Oh. Yep. Just killing some Murphy broods. You're welcome. All right, girl, take it easy. Just keep moving. Got friends, dear. You gonna be crying for your mama, boy. What the <laughs> fuck just happened there? <laughs> you were saying? You were saying. Yeah. Let's track that last one down. Where are you? Okay, that's a cougar. Probably not a very good one. I know, girl. Just give me a second. Man, I shot it a few times with my pistol. Yeah. But the big game meat is certainly worth it, as is that cougar fang. I mean, for a minute, my horse had some Skyrim physics. Here's that little homestead again. Watch out. Right. 
Gotta go find Mrs. Downs again. But we got a little more insight on her. Apparently Arthur killed her husband. Was he a rat? Maybe. for my family. Well, you can't provide for us if you ain't got no lungs. And what if it caves in again? You two all right? Well, I told you a hundred times argument. already. It'll get better. Yeah, sure. Enough. And who's gonna... Now, I'm not putting on a show for the whole town. Is there Getting a man in this sides, town huh? who ain't a Believe moron? Believe me, Philip. You don't know the half of it. He's just scared. Good job's hard to find. A good job? Caking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Scared or not, he's gonna ruin us both. Okay. Let's find Mrs. Downs. Found her. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama... <clears throat> Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. <gasps> sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you see? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Come now, Blucher. We have a degenerate to hunt. Let's get this a good cleaning real quick. How much you have? To, how you have to keep doing this? There's the horse. That's enough now, partner. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. See you again, dearie. Can I put a bullet in him? Listen. 
Listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> You loved him. You did everything for him. Let's get you home. All right. Let's go. Come on. Yep. Let's get you back to Ansburg. I'm sorry you had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Or help yourself. I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. You're someone who needs help. And I can't turn a blind eye to that. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. Someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I seen it kill too many folks. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. How much did he give them? Ninety dollars? God damn. Now where am I headed? Oh, there's that Marco Dragic guy. Let's go see what he wants for me. And then next episode, I'll go see Sadie Adler. Get a move on. 
<coughs> okay, I guess not getting around that. Forgive me if my voice sounds a little off. I'm in a bit under the weather. I'm fighting something. I don't know if it's allergies or if it's cold or the flu or what. I missed work Monday because, well, I couldn't even fucking see straight, let alone walk straight. Being three stories in the air ain't a good place to be like that. Man, I'm able to key time, and so I'm not gonna be hurting financially. Oh, cool, your jets. But at the same time, yeah, I missed a day of work. Let's go see what the Monsieur Marco Dragic has in store for us. Yeah. I want that elk. Okay. Poor elk pelt. What? I use the improved arrow and everything. Fuck that. Well, at least I got some meat. here. I don't know why I have two double barrels. One's better than the other. Hey, mister. Hey, there. That's a strong-looking horse. Thank you, Tom. Well, look to you. in the mountain, in the, well, the hill country anyway, and a great big ol' thunderstorm. And this must be the Marco Dragic's laboratory. Get out of my laboratory! Well, that's not the way in. Oh my god. What is this dude bipolar or something? Actually, doing this guy's quest is gonna be annoying, isn't it? Fuck it, let's just go to Sadie. Okay. Well, actually, I said I'd do that next time. Well, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2. As I go see Miss Sadie Adler here just north of Sand Dunny. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.